I mean, the guys helped me out a lot and just kind of talked me through it. So I, I thought it went pretty well. I thought I was just trying to play a mistake-free game and just help positively as, as I could. Rick said that he was hoping you'd get five or six skates again before you played, and then all of a sudden Dylan's hurt and you get thrust in. Just how surprised were you? Uh, uh, not too surprised. I'd say I was just trying to, ever since I got here, be prepared and just own the moment whenever I got it. When did you know you were going in? Um, I got a little hint about it yesterday. Okay. There's probably a better chance that I was going to go in rather than not go in, so I'd say probably yesterday. What did you notice about the pace of play? Uh, certainly when guys are coming in on you, Herman, the puck has to be pretty quick, right? I mean, it's just amazing how fast these guys can get on some of those levels. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's just another another step in the, in the journey, so it's going to be bigger guys, better pace, but once you get used to it, I feel like anybody can play. Yeah, my parents were here. Did you have any moments where you sort of took it all in and you realized you're on an NHL ice rink and a guy like Scotty <coughs> on the other side? Is that something that you sort of reflected on at all? Yeah, I mean, seeing a couple of the other guys like Kopitar and Doughty, that was that was pretty cool. But I don't know, I, just another another game. At the end of the day, I, f I feel like I've been playing played in some big games in my college career, so I, I don't think it was anything different than those. You look comfortable. You feel comfortable. Yeah, I think it took a couple shifts to get going, but yeah, by the end I, I felt pretty comfortable. Was there a bit of a, you know, you were playing like a do or die game in college hockey? Did you come from that to where maybe the stakes are actually perhaps a little bit lower? Uh, I don't know if the stakes are lower. I'd, I'd say it's more of a personal stake for me. You know, you're playing for a job, you're playing for a spot, you're playing to prove something. LA's a good team. They, they're, uh, that's their DNA. They can, they can play those touring games in. Uh, not get antsy. We had, our, we, had, we had three or four good looks. We missed the net. It could be a different game. And then obviously at the end, a couple of empty net goals. Or the empty net goal. Has your team, team been too easy to play against the last week? Um, no, I, maybe the last two. I don't think tonight. I mean, it is what it is. We have, you know, we have guys trying to make our team. You know, guys are in our lineup. I, but the guys played hard. What did you make of Hirose in his first? Well, I, thought he, I thought he did a really nice job. I thought he was really smart out there. Uh, I really... For a guy that just jumped into the first NHL game unexpectedly um, because all the injuries, you know, hasn't practiced a lot because we haven't practiced a lot, I thought he did really well. I really did. He's got, good, he's got a really good hockey IQ, which I like. I like guys with hockey IQs. He didn't seem overawed by the moment. No. Even before the game, before we were talking to him, he seemed like pretty calm for the kid. Yeah. Yep. Is it a little different working with both him and Aiden where, you know, they're very experienced college players, a little bit older. Uh, does it change what you can reasonably expect from them when they first get their feet wet and move to this league? Uh, well, I think it's more the pace and the, the way things, have, you know, practice, mm -hmm. things like that with those guys. But once you give it to them, you know, I think they can adapt to it, you know. Um, you know, Aiden knows he's got to get quicker off the, off the start, and then obviously he's got to get a little uh, stronger. You know, they know that to get to, to this level. But uh, like I said, both guys have kind of impressed me. There's there's some stuff there to develop to develop for sure. Last three games, given up a little <clears throat> more offensively, and you, know, you guys were operating at a, at a pretty good clip for the entire month of March. At some point, did you expect <clears throat> a bit of a lull here? Yeah, I mean, I, you, know, you know, like our, you know, obviously the, the big guys have been producing. You know, we got to get some more from the, the bottom two, you know, and, and more forechecking from those guys. I don't think we're getting enough from those guys right now um, to, to kind of wear the other team down. you got to have the depth guys be able to wear people down and uh, win battles, you know, keep pucks alive in the other end. And, you know, we're, we, we haven't done that the last three games. JT said you guys have been soft to play against the last couple of games. <clears throat> Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, we've, uh, yeah. And we got to address that. You know, whether it's personnel or whatever, we have to address a little bit. We're a little bit light in battle situations. And th that, to me, is like body position, tech technique. You know, um, I find that, you know, in practice when we teach it and we do it, but for whatever reason, when the pressure hits, we lose our technique. You know, whether it's your, your back against a guy with your stick. You know, somehow we're, we have our back against the, uh, against the boards. You can't play that way in this league. And um, so, yeah. That's why we gotta, you know, gotta de develop some of those guys, and we gotta find out who who can do that for us. But yeah.
you've talked so much about how important this summer is going to be for a number of your players. How much of that is about strength in those battles oh, as well? Core strength, strength, uh, uh, hockey IQ, a lot, everything. You know, it's uh, and and it's also anticipating when the puck's coming. You know, when you know the puck is coming to you, you got to be ready for it. I think sometimes we're not scanning the ice enough, and then we're surprised by it. So, you know, that's experience. Some guys are you know, they're in the lineup that haven't played a lot of NHL games. They're trying to make the NHL. So, you know, that's part of the whole process. Fifteen NHL, fifteen defensemen, I guess this year. Yeah. You talked about organizationally being stressed mm. and tested a little bit. Has it tested you, Scott? Yeah, but it's it, we come in every day. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, I wish we had our healthy defense to really, uh, you know, we were rolling a little bit. But you know, it's opportunities, and we got to coach. That's our job. I don't care who comes in the lineup. We got to think of ways. And I thought for the most part, you know, it's a two-one hockey game. But we didn't give LA that much. We only had ten shots there through late in the second, um, which I kind of liked, especially when you have like Rathbone up. You know, Roche, he was up. You know, uh, some guys that haven't played a, a lot. I mean, I got you. Got to be kind of happy with that. But like I said, um, you know, these injuries with the defense—it's really it's testing our organizational depth. Though I'll tell you that. Rick, it looked like your club forechecked, especially in the second period after falling behind two one, a little bit more aggressively than you have typically. <laughs> Is that fair to say? And what do you think of the work there? Yeah, not not too bad. I I, I don't think we have had great forechecking the last three games. You know, we can't just rely on Millsy and Giuseppe or you know. Uh, um, Dakota for, for some, sometimes like we need some other guys to be F1 and get on and get on somebody and, and be sticky you know it seems like it's the same guys we need other guys they got to be able to get in there and cause some havoc um, but that's like I said that's why I keep saying you guys you guys got to get stronger you know work on it this summer that's uh, that's what it's all about Rick we knew what the match was when you took over this team but tonight you guys are Mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. What's that feeling like? Well, I mean, I, you, I want to win every game. It sucks. I mean, uh, you know, I, I feel bad for the guys. I mean, obviously, you know, four months off sucks. But use it to your advantage. You know, the other teams are going to play late. We're not. So what are you going to do with these next four months? It's not about uh, – that's what I like. The, that's the positive. If there is a positive not making the playoffs – is, you know, you, there's no excuse not to come into camp in shape. Well, you, there will be a, if you if you do come in camp in shape, there'll be a problem. Put it that way. That's been the mandate. So, yeah, it sucks four months off. But uh, like I said, you know, we got some really good players here that want to win, and uh, they're going to lead the charge for us this summer. It cements seven years or seven playoff misses in the last eight years yeah. for the franchise. Yeah. What's your reaction to that? And <coughs> is that just something you can embrace as a challenge? Well, it's 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 it's. Um, it's a hungriness, you know, like I, you know, I want to be part of the solution. You know, what am I going to do this summer for myself, the coaches stuff where we can really help the players out? You know, that's our job is to help the players. Um, so that's, and then our, our, every department, you know, has to be kind of coincide in what we're looking for and stuff. And I think we are. I mean, I, I really, like I said, I, I, I think Patrick's terrific. We are, we're on the same page. So, um, and, the, and the, and the players, I mean, the, um, the coaches too. So, I'm looking forward to these four months, I am, to get, you know, ready for October.